Today we're going to be riding to the oldest town in Uruguay. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Oli. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 232 on our circle navigation around the globe by motorcycle. We had a beautiful wild camp here near the town of Kiju. We're about one hour out of the capital, Montevideo, in Uruguay. We had a really peaceful and nice night. The sky was amazing and light up with stars. It was completely clear, just beautiful. And we woke up this morning with views of the ocean. But let me show you guys where we're gonna be riding today. So now we've got a mini map of Uruguay. I can show you guys where we've been. Look at this. And where we are now, just here, just outside of the town of Kiju. And today we're gonna to be continuing on the route one along the coast do, 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 to reach Colonia del Sacramento. Colonia del Sacramento is the first town, the oldest town in the country. So that's gonna be super cool to check out that part of Uruguayan history. It's also the place where we'll be trying to take the ferry from Uruguay across to Buenos Aires in Argentina, but uh, we haven't managed to find out exactly what the prices are, how long it takes, when the ferry runs. So that's something we've got to find out when we get over to Colonia del Sacramento. So it's about 83 miles or 130 kilometers to get there. It's already seven o'clock and we have to pack up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Okay, ready to rock and roll? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. So we're starting this morning on this nice little coastal path. With ocean views. <laughs> Look at that. I don't exactly know where this path goes, but we kind of came from this direction yesterday on the main road, so we'll see. So beautiful. <laughs> this is a nice little road in the morning, isn't it? <laughs> cool. Ooh. Oh, what was that? Oh, I don't know. We went over something and then it hit the bash plate, maybe a root. Wait a second, there's a bit of a divot. I'm just gonna go round it. Hold on, okay. And all the bird sounds this morning as well, hey? Yeah, beautiful. Like, just amazing. People camping here? Yeah, not the only ones. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, that's us on the dirt road. Amazing. Heading over to Colonia del Sacramento.
so we're on the route one right now and uh, look at it it's an absolutely massive beautiful big easy to ride road and there's barely any traffic oh there's a bus <laughs> Hello. yeah it's not busy at all you have just fields around you it's quite ple pleasant actually yeah i just have the cruise control on look <laughs> and uh it just means we can cruise nice and easy the uh 60 miles more to get over to colonia del sacramento yeah and it's actually really cool because uh, there is this website banca Baika, it calls and there's one guy and he actually lives there in colonia del sacramento so we contacted him and he said you know what we have actually like a holiday home there for tourists but, but biker can stay there for free so <laughs> this is actually a place where we're heading to this afternoon and i'm really excited to see this place and yeah i'm really really thankful that uh, something like this exists yeah it's basically like couch surfing for motorcyclists say so. yeah super cool but first we'll go over to the ferry port and try and see if we can get an idea of the price of the ferry over to Argentina because there is a roadway to get there over to Argentina there is a bridge that crosses the Uruguay River but it's a 300 mile round trip to do what would be a one hour ferry so we'll see the price and we'll see what we'll do when we get there yes got a payage up ahead but it's not a problem for us because we have a free lane just here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's really thin though. <laughs> there we go. Easy Perfect. as that. Perfect. 9,999 miles. We have reached 10,000 miles around the world. Woo! <laughs> 10,000 miles! <laughs> Just coming into the town, Colonia del Sacramento. It's been a pretty chilled ride over here, to be honest, on the Ruta 1. Yes, very little traffic, very pleasant views. Yeah, and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. Wow. So we did pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> so our first stop in town is to go to the petrol station to fuel up a little bit because we are very nearly empty <laughs> and then when we're making our way over to the port we have to figure out a few things with the tickets but also how it works with uh, bumblebee if we need to sort out our import permit here in colonia or if we can do that on the ferry or on the other side so we really don't know how the process will work crossing the border on the ferry so hopefully we can get some information down at the port. Super 95. Hola. Buenos días. Mañana, Argentina. But you ride mucho bonito. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have a giant football screen here. So the guys that are working could <laughs> trabajando a uh, football, a trabajando. Oh, see. Sí. So this looks like the port area here. Okay, accesso terminal. But here, uh -huh. do you think we can get in here without tickets? I don't know. Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so he said park the motorcycle and go inside and there'll be a ticket place to buy, yes? Alright. 
Let's go check out and see what the prices of the tickets are. Davy's just waiting over with the bike, keeping Bumblebee safe. And I'm gonna go and check out in here. Very busy here. Very busy. Okay, so the ferries range between 100 pounds and 150 pounds. So we're gonna have to have a talk and see if we wanna do that or if we wanna drive 300 miles. Okay, so after a lot of deliberation, we have decided take the morning ferry tomorrow to maximize our time. That one costs 119 pounds. It's like empty here now. <laughs> I, think, I think everybody went on the ferry. So we're going with a company called Bukibus. There's two companies that operate here from the terminal here. We're gonna go with this one because they have a 10, 15, Sailing tomorrow. Hola. <laughs> Passport. Perfect. Uh, tomorrow. Uh, and then you know so. Yep. Um, moto. Moto this side. Okay. Pri primero la moto aquí. Parking. Yes. Uh, check in, immigration, uh, and the custom. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. We got it. We're going to Buenos Aires. Woo! Buenos Aires! <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a little over budget, but it will save us a day. So there we go. 119 pounds later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really like ferry rides too. And to cross countries, taking a ferry is something really cool anyway. So sometimes it's worth it to spend the money. Yeah, I mean, this journey is, is uh, long enough and uh, 300 miles to get around just to the edge of the city. That's... Yeah, it's true. Whereas now it's just like ferry ride, one hour, boom, center of the city. Yes, it's, tr it's true. And then in Buenos Aires, we'd really have to look for a back tire and get Bumblebee a little bit um, freshed up. Well, it's been 10,000 miles on this one yeah. and <laughs> that's pretty much the maximum they said it would last. They said, you know, oh, yeah, change it after up to 10,000 miles. Well, we're at 10,000 miles now. We yes. did our dance. <laughs> We've reached it. Totally. So Buenos Aires is a good place to get it done because that's hopefully gonna have the right place that'll actually have a tire that will work with the bike, hopefully. It's 31 degrees. Again, a very, very hot day. It's not very cold here. We're still making our way south every day, hoping that the temperature's gonna drop. <laughs> yes. But it hasn't. It hasn't, <laughs> just, just yet. Oh man. So anyway, now that we've sorted out our ferry, We've lost our week's budget. Now we're going to make our way in to Colonia del Sacramento because as I said this morning, this town is the oldest town in Uruguay. It was established in 1680, which is really early on considering that Montevideo was in the 18th century. The population of this town is 27,000. So it's actually a nice size. And uh, this, old town district that we're about to get into now is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So that's super cool. That is super cool. Super cool. Yeah, because it looks totally lovely already, hey, doesn't it? Yeah, look at this area. Wow. With this tree-lined avenue and these historic buildings. Yeah. We're just going to do a loop. Oh, we got cobbling. <laughs> there we go. You know you're in a historic place when you get cobbling on the road. It was actually the Portuguese that first settled here, Montevideo and uh, the rest of Uruguay was actually Spanish colonized, but this was earlier by the Portuguese. Look, we're doing a little moto tour cool. of the town. 
And on your left, you'll see <laughs> history. And on your right, you'll see history. Very, very nice. Very charming. Cool. Very charming. Actually, this is like two for one because this is a, a tour and a sauna at the same time. <laughs> Look at this building! Oh, nice! So that looks like an old lighthouse. But now it wouldn't be very effective because it would be blocked by the tree. This dog doesn't like us. Hello! <laughs> so actually, this here is not the ocean. You can see by the brown color of the water. This is actually the mouth of the river of the Uruguay River, the river that separates Uruguay from Argentina. And uh, it's a huge, huge river mouth. And on the other side directly is Buenos Aires, Argentina. Cool! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh, look at the size of this Uruguay flag. Wow, this has got to be one of the biggest Uruguay flags I've ever seen. Wow. Look, we've got some ruins. And look at this uh, oh, tree, that's wow. lovely. Yeah, because it's uh, the spring here and everything is flowering. It's just a lovely time to be oh, here. Oh, yes. If only it was 10 degrees colder. So this road is not going anywhere, so let's go round. Oh, this, oh, this is a bit rough. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, here is something going on. Another lighthouse, and there's a lot of tours going on, it looks like. Wow, yes, loads. I would say that's one way the other way. Yeah. Wow, it's just really nice here. You've got lovely trees everywhere. Look at the buildings, the flowers. Oh, a very pleasant place very pleasant place yeah just really really cool whoa how nice brilliant and you can feel how much cooler it is yes i mean trees are just amazing so i think now we'll be making our way over to the bunker biker accommodation yes oh look at this street pretty and look at this car <laughs> So many nice old cars here in Uruguay. Awesome. So yes, we'll make our way over to our bunker bike accommodation. And I think it's only a kilometer, a kilometer half away. Her place should be somewhere just around here. Ah, just here. Ah, buenos dias. It's okay? <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Oli Lavi. Okay, Aldana. Anana. Aldana. 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 Nice to meet you. <laughs> Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Wee! And check out the apartment we are allowed to sleep in tonight. It's like a whole flat! Whoa. Sleeping room or an English bedroom. <laughs> Kitchen! Bathroom! Yes! How cool is that? Thank you so much guys, it's absolutely appreciated. We absolutely love it. Yeah, it's really awesome to be here and to do a little moto tour of the old town. But it's also really nice to take off our bike gear because that was really, really, really hot and sweaty. So now we can go back to the old town, but just wearing <laughs> our sandals. And it's really nice to have a really nice place here where we can recharge a little bit, where we can have a shower, where we can refresh ourselves because tomorrow we will cross into Argentina. <laughs> yeah, a beautiful place to wake up in the morning and a beautiful place to sleep. <laughs> so we did at the end 87 miles, which is about 140 kilometers. And that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.